Hey, this is Avi Gutman with another Ask Me Anything event brought to you by QuantReasoning.com. I invite you to join me live next time. We do this every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern, and you can attend for free by starting your free trial at QuantReasoning.com. How should we think about greatest common factor? Let's take an example. If we say 50 and 75, and I want to know what's the greatest common factor of those two numbers. One way to solve that is to find the prime boxes of 50 and of 75. So 50 would be 2 to the power of 1, 5 squared, and 75 would be 3 to the power of 1, 5 squared. And here's how I like to think about it. Remember the uh, clothing store analogy from last week where we have jackets of different sizes and the sizes are the prime numbers. You've got jackets size 2, size 3, size 5, size 7, size 11, and so on. I think about it in the following way. I say, I just opened a, a clothing store, so I don't have any inventory yet. And I ask the manufacturer to send me a shipment. And they did. And I call them on the phone and I say, hey, can you tell me what's what's arriving? Like, what did you put in the shipment? And they say, oh, we're so sorry, sir. We're actually not sure what we put in there. Can you imagine that happening in real life? I feel like that happens all the time. We're not sure what we put in the shipment. It was either one jacket size two and two jacket size five, or maybe it was one jacket size three and two jackets size five. And we're not sure which of those we actually put on the truck to get to your store. The GCF is me thinking, what do I know for sure I will have for sale here? Once the shipment arrives, what can I guarantee my customers will be available for them when they come to my store? And in this particular example, the one thing I know for sure I'll have available is whatever is in common between these prime boxes, which in this case is the five squared. So I have two jackets size five that I know for sure are arriving on this shipment. My only uncertainty is when it comes to the rest of those prime boxes. So will I have a jacket size two or will I have a jacket size three? That I don't know for sure. I can't guarantee that I will have those things but I will for sure have two jackets size five, and that's the GCF. It's whatever is in common among those prime boxes, and the G stands for greatest. So if there is something that's in common, we definitely want to see five to the power of four you would get if you were to multiply the numbers. In other words, if somebody asks you, hey, what's the product of 50 and 75? That's two shipments. That's two separate shipments, and you're getting everything from both of those shipments. That's the product. GCF is where there's only one shipment, but you don't know which, which it is. And the GCF is what you can guarantee, what you know for sure that you're going to end up with. So, I mean, if, if, the, two sh if, the, if the shipment is either going to be 18 or 25, if they're like, yeah, it's either that or that, you'd say, well, then I can't guarantee anything because I'm either getting one jacket size 2 and two jackets size 3, or maybe I'm getting two jackets size five. I'm not sure which of those I'm getting. And therefore, what can I guarantee for my customers? What can I say for sure I'm going to have available for you in my inventory? Nothing. An empty prime box. And remember, an empty prime box. One times one times one. Exactly. It's a prime box of one. So the GCF of uh, 18 and 25 equals one. Parash sent us this question in the, in the forum asking about the uh, positive integers x over 5 and x over 7. This is very similar to what we were working on last week. Again, the x is the same x. That's a really important point. Right? So, so x over 5 and x over 7 are very similar numbers in terms of their prime boxes. They both started out from the prime box of x, which is the same prime box, whatever it is. They both started from the same starting point. The first one is just uh, removing one jacket size 5, but otherwise everything else remains. It's just missing one jacket size 5 from whatever that inventory was. 
and x over 7 is just missing one jacket size 7. So it has the jacket size 5 that the first one is missing, but it's missing a jacket size 7, which the first one did have. So each of them is missing one item, but otherwise they're identical. And the question is, can we find the, uh, the value of x so that full prime box, the one that's not missing any jackets, if we know that the GCF of x over 5 and x over 7 happens to be 6. So how do we, how do we think about that? So if, if I'm understanding thing. you correctly, JD, your criticism of Parash's conclusion is just of these two words. You're saying it's not at least this, it's exactly this. Am I understanding you correctly? What about 11s and 13s and 17s and 19s? Can you conclude that those are not available in X? Yes, because then it would, it would show up in the GCF. Correct. Good. Exactly. We can guarantee that there are no jackets of any other sizes above size 7. Why? Because if there were, we would see them in the GCF. Because they're in both shipments. That's right. Well, it's just one shipment and we don't know which it is. Right, but, right. But right, yes. Right, yeah. I got you. Yeah. And, Both and options. And by the same logic, there can't be more than that single jacket size 5 and that j single jacket size 7, because if there were more than one, then those would also be reflected in the GCF. The fact that the GCF doesn't have any 5s and 7s means there was only one of them to begin with. So JD is exactly right. You can take what Parash said. Par Parash isn't technically wrong, right? Parash said x should be at least the product of 6 times 5 times 7. We can remove the words at least and say x should be the product of 6 times 5 times 7. So can we find the value of x? The answer is yes, we can. And the second question is very similar. What if the GCF is actually 90? Then can we find the value of x? It sounded to yeah. me like the three of you all agree with each other. Yeah. That uh, we can tell for sure that x is 5 times 7 times 90. For the same reason that uh, in the previous question we said it would be 5 times 7 times 6. Now it will be 5 times 7 times 90. In other words, it doesn't actually matter what the GCF is. Whatever the GCF is, you multiply that by these numbers and you get the answer. Why is that? Because... Other than the fact that this x is missing one jacket size 5, and other than the fact that this x is missing one jacket size 7, outside of that, the x is the same x. It's identical. So the only things that the GCF would be missing is this 5 and this 7. Why would it not be missing anything else other than the 5 and 7? Because the x is the same x. Now, if it was x over 5 versus y wow. over 7... Well, then all bets are off. But if the x is the same x, and the only thing this x is missing is a single jacket size 5, and the only thing this x is missing is a single jacket size 7, then the GCF will contain the rest, everything else, other than the 5 that's missing and the 7 that's missing. Other than those, the GCF will have everything that x has. So you wanted to get x, take the GCF, and include in it, right, multiply into it the 5 and the 7, and you're done. So the answer is whatever that is, 35 times 90. So Eric was saying, if it wasn't x over 5 and x over 7, if it was, say, x over 5 and y over 7, well, then you wouldn't be able to find really uh, anything mm -hmm. from knowing their GCF. Because, no, it's too great. because the x and y, we, we don't know anything about them. But with the x and x, we know that they're identical. So that gives us a lot of power. I was wondering, what if we change x upon 7 to 2x? Can we then find? So what if we have x over 5 and 2x? And yep. we're saying the GCF of these is, let's say, doesn't have to be even, because all I can say about x here 25. is that x is a multiple of 5, but x could be uh, odd. For Here's an example. What if the GCF of those things is 5. That's possible. The GCF of those things would be 5 if x is 25. Right? If x is 25, 
then uh, x over 5 is 5, and 2x is 50, and what's the GCF of 5 and 50? 5. Yeah, this is, uh, your, your, your story thing helps, but it just, it's so weird, it's just, it's a weird thing for the brain to process, I don't know why. Well, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a type of thinking that we don't do in our day-to-day. Uh, yeah. Which is why I came up with that story about a clothing store, because I'm trying to make it a bit more uh, relatable to, yeah. to the kind of stuff that we would be doing in, a, in real life. Another analogy that maybe will be better for some people is uh, trading cards. Like if you ever traded baseball cards or I don't know, I'm not American, so I don't really know what, uh, what cards you all do. But I've definitely seen in the movies that you, you trade baseball cards. Pokemon card. Pokemon card. Yeah, maybe nowadays it's Pokemon cards. So you would say, well, the different prime numbers are the different types of Pokemon cards. And I apologize, I don't know enough about Pokemon cards to take this analogy all the way to fruition. But uh, but imagine that, you know, okay, I have five of this particular card and I have three of that particular card and I want to trade with my friend and he has this other set of cards. And so he has a prime box represented by the cards that he has and I have a prime box for the cards that I have. And if we're wondering, well, what do we have in common? I don't know why we would wonder that, because, again, I've, I've never played Pokemon cards. Uh, but maybe there's some reason why you would want to know uh, the commonalities, right? What, which cards do, do, do we both have? Well, that would be the GCF. And the LCM would be uh, if we wanted to fill out an... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about Pokemon cards to, to take this all the way. No, but I mean, if you're trading, right, you're, you don't want to, if you already have three Pikachu cards, you don't want to, he has three Pikachu cards, and you don't want to trade, really. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, but maybe you want more Pikachu cards or something, but I, 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 I got it. <laughs> I'm too old for this conversation. <laughs> if you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.